Hi, this is the Deck Network, and I'm your host, Mike Danzilio. Today, we have Mr. John Hogan from Midstate Lumber in Branchburg, New Jersey. John, how are you today? Very good, Michael. How are you? Good, great to see you. How'd you make out with the storm? Uh, as good or better than most people. We yeah. were out of electricity for about a day, but uh, faring better than a lot of other people. Well, well hurricanes are uh, what we have up here in the Northeast, so we get used to them, but this one was a bad one. So we're just recovering from that now. And uh, John works for Midstate Lumber, as I said, in Branchburg, New Jersey. They are our sole distributor for Trex. But we like Midstate Lumber, family-owned business. They treat us great, wonderful people. So uh, we're going to talk today about the Trex product. And we, I took a video of the Trex product when I was at the Deck Expo a few weeks back in Baltimore, Maryland. So let's get right in and look at that video right now. All right, we're at the Trex booth today and with one of my good friends, Mark DeMarco from the Trex company. How are you, Mike? Okay, and Mark is going to show us part of the 2013 Trex line. Uh, Mark, how do you want to start it? Well, let's start with the decking, then we'll move on to the rail, and then I want to briefly go over our metal framing. Okay, you know I'm interested in that product because I think it's just great. Okay, first, uh, expanding on our very successful Tropics uh, line of Transcend decking, we have put out a new product this year called Tiki Torch. It's a nice, lighter, more caramel colored with rich black and red uh, streaking in it. Mm -hmm. I think it's going, as you can see. And that goes on along with the, the very popular Lava Rock and Spice Drum color. Correct, which yes. are are my best sellers in my region. Yeah, my best sellers also. Okay, so it, we feel that uh, that expanding this line is going to be ideal for our company because people like having the more wood-like streaking, the richer colors, the lighter grain. Uh, it's a, we think it's going to be a great compliment. Okay, now this product is a capped composite with a 25-year fade and stain warranty. Correct. It's very durable. Almost bulletproof. That's what I say. I, I love the stuff. Nothing is bulletproof. Well, okay. it's bulletproof when you want to uh, compare it to other products in the industry. If you want to take a Bowie knife out, I'm sure you can scratch this as well as any decking here. Yes. But I mean, uh, under normal circumstances on a deck, this product is very, very durable. Okay. All right, so we have the decking. Is there any, what, what do you want to talk about next, Mark? Next, what I'd like to go to is our railing. Uh, expanding on our very successful Transcend railing, where we're going to have multiple, where you have multiple options, not only in color but in style. You can go from uh, the metal balusters to straight balusters to colonial balusters to even gloss panel, and even and, the architectural balusters. Exactly, uh, yes. exactly. And the ease of our, the ease to install of our, our railing is one of the key components, especially for the contractor, because the the quicker they get to install a railing safely, mm -hmm. the faster they get the deck done. More decks they can, they can do in a year. Um, and also, it's just easier for them. It gives them more profitability. What I, what I understand about this, this colored railing is it has an acrylic coating as opposed to a PVC coating. Mark, could you tell us the benefits of that? Yes. The, the beautiful thing, especially with regards to our darker colors, the black railing, that you see a lot of our competitors carry a similar uh, line of black or dark brown railing. Mm -hmm. After a few years, the PVC railing starts to get a little chalky, starts to fade. Like mm -hmm. the black will get a little grayish tint mm -hmm. or a little whitish tint. As you will see with ours, we it, it will retain its color longer than most of the other railings that you would see here at the show. Yeah. And then another great point about the Trex railing is its versatility. You can mix and match and get a unique deck that's unlike your neighbors. And the key to that is packaging. If you can mm -hmm. package it so the contractor and the retailer can very easily put a package together, it opens up the design capabilities mm. for the contractor so they can make the customer happier. The most visible part of the deck is the rail. When a person's on their deck, you know, it, it, it's the showcase of it. It's so from the street, the first thing you notice is the, the railing. When you're sitting on the deck, for example, the metal ballast, 
coasters. You get to see through your rail, which allows you to enjoy your backyard even mm -hmm. more. We also have the universal rail, where you can you can have an actual deck board on top. Mm -hmm. uh, you can mix and match your balusters to your posts to whatever color scheme is best suited for your home and your environment. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like you have some new railings for 2013. Correct. What do we have over here, Marky? This is our select rail. It's more of a builder type rail. It's mm -hmm. a very. It's only going to come in white. It's going to be a lower price point railing selection. Um, you're still going to have the same post uh, sleeves, caps, and skirts, uh, incorporating our our Trex lighting, our our, our you know LED lighting. Yes. And as uh, this is a, a complete modular system made with the same Fibrex technology. Um, so, so it's. it's it's not, a, it's not a PVC rail, it's oh, still it's using the Fibrex. Yeah, it's still a far better constructed okay. quality railing than just a simple PVC railing. It's very stable, it meets all of our codes, um, and it, will, you know, it comes in the same six and eight foot components. Okay. Component. Looks like we have a nice glass panel over here. Yes, and this is our new Colonial rail. It's going to come in, a few, in multiple colors, and it's just a, a more graspable rail, it, it just to give another design option. Okay, we're over here at the at a demonstration area where Trex has their metal framing. Mark, if you want to talk to us a little, a little about it. Yes, uh, this is my favorite of our new products that have been that have come out within the last 12 to 18 months. Our metal framing is ideal for most situations when it comes to a deck. Um, the most important thing with the deck is deck safety. And also, the one thing that all composites or alternative woods do when they're sitting on a frame is they're gonna conform to the frame. And a lot of times, depending upon the climate that you live in, it, it, you're, a homeowner is spending a lot of money on a deck. And once that money is spent, they want that deck to look ideal, not just for a month, not for a year, but for the lifetime that they're in that home. Well, what's going to guarantee that your deck's going to be perfectly level? What's going to guarantee that you can have the, uh, the greatest design flexibility? What's going to make sure that your 4x4 four four railing posts are secure? And as the pressure treated dries on a frame, that originally the 4x4 four four can begin to shake, which is a safety concern. Mm -hmm. So the metal framing has given an answer to all of that. It makes contractors happy because it's lighter, bringing from the front of home to the back and handling. You don't need as many people mm -hmm. labor. It gives you great speed. Spans. We have full span charts on the Trex website mm -hmm. and install guidelines that are in most of our retailers. And with regards to the metal framing, metal has a lot of benefits. Number one, it lasts longer than pressure treated in virtually every circumstance, whether you're near water or you're away from water. Okay, it's just lasts longer, it's more secure. You get greater design flexibility. You can get up to a four foot cantilever where the code guidelines for pressure treated is a two foot cantilever. Mm -hmm. So when you're imagining your home, you can imagine a much greater design flexibility. For here, here's a great example. We have a relief or kerf cut done on the outer band, which is what we call our U, our track, mm -hmm. which is more of a U-shaped. Okay, this curved cut allowed you to do a nice curved outer edge mm -hmm. for your deck, which is that nice design element that people want on their home. Okay, then you have our C-joists, which, which go normally just like regular uh, wood joists, 16 on center, sitting on top of our beams. Okay, and it's, you know, it's uh, cold rolled steel, zinc coated, and ceramic baked paint. Mm -hmm. So with regards to our metal framing, you also see that we're using uh, L70s or LS70s, depending if they're on an angle, using hex head, three-quarter inch uh, uh, self-tapping screws. So it's a standard hardware. Standard hardware. You, you need an impact driver when you're putting mm -hmm. in the screws. You need a ferrous metal blade. And as a result, you know, after you put in your screws, we have uh, uh, our gra uh, battleship gray spray paint, which is the same mm -hmm. paint used in the manufacturing process that is used to coat the outside, just to protect it from corrosion, like all metals. Well, Mark, I like this stuff, and uh, maybe we can get some of this over at the, uh, the No Maintenance Tech showroom. We definitely will. With your showroom, we, we definitely need to highlight this product line. Yeah. All right, so th this is an example of our Joyce. As a result, uh, just to finish up, 
back when composite decking and Trex first came into the industry, no one thought people were going to move from wood to composite or alternative decks. Well, as you can see from this show, the industry has moved to composite and alternative surfaces. Now it's time for the frame. Metal framing is the wave of the future. It's more secure, better design flexibility, like I said earlier. There's some fireproofing a, uh, properties also. Oh, fantastic fireproofing. And major cities, such as New York City, Chicago. All right, John. As usual, Mark does a great job. Yeah, Mark pretty much uh, hit on all points. <laughs> yeah, with this. He, he's uh, he's real good on it. We uh, we have the new color added to the Tropics line, the the tiki torch, tiki torch, the tiki torch color. Of course, John was right there and he supplied us. We have it all here in stock here. At, We're uh, doing very well with that already. Yes, right uh, out the right out the, the gate. The new railings. I'm sure you haven't seen them yet. Since I have you, not seen them yet. Yes. Okay. Well, you just saw them on the video. I'm sure uh, Mark will be bringing them by. The uh, the metal framing, I think, is very interesting. Metal framing is going to be a big hit. Yes. We it's just have to be careful as to where we sell it. It's not for everyone. And, and it's not for every area. Yes. If, uh, if it's going to be submersed in salt water, it's, not, it's going to have the same no warranty as the hardware does. But if it's up in the air, it's going to last a long time. It's going to give you, as Mark said, some design flexibility because you can go some longer lengths. You can build a deck. I calculated it somewhere in the, you could build a deck of about 24 foot wide by 19 foot deep with three footings. So sometimes if it's a low deck, that really doesn't make that much difference. But if it's a second floor deck, that makes a lot of difference. So you can get a lot, a lot of deck with not a lot of footings because footings are very important and they have to be done correctly and that's a that's a topic for another episode of the deck network yeah the only thing i'd like to add on the metal framing mm -hmm. is it's going to create a lot less callbacks for people like myself people like the trex people and even competitive decking mm -hmm. products that build on top of the trex framing because there's no moisture content we're not going to have a lot of callbacks from deck uh, deck boards buckling, deck board shrinking, and gaps opening it up because the framing isn't moving. Yes. And also, the mm -hmm. railings, you're not going to have wood blocking under there, so the railings aren't going to move as much. They, so it could be a lot less callbacks. Everything's going to be a lot more secure, and a lot of times when people have problems with their decks, they feel that it's the decking company's problem, and actually, it's usually the installer's issue, and it was the wood. Now, the wood, pressure-treated wood, no matter what grade it is, it doesn't have a warranty against checking or curling or cupping or crowning. I always tell people to buy the best wood. A number one grade from a better mill always is better, but uh, the... And that still needs to be crowned. Yes. There's still work involved. Uh, we've done a couple of prototype decks ourselves yes. just to, I, I always, as you yeah. know, like yeah. to be a hands-on guy like yourself. Yeah. So we've always gotten together and, and built decks. And we actually built two recently, small ones, eight by 12, uh, 12 by 16. And believe it or not, we built them on the ground and we're able to lift them and put them on top of the posts. Yeah, the, 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 uh, the metal framing is quite a bit lighter than regular standard pressure treated framing is. Well, Johnny, that's about it on the, uh, on the Trex products, you can always find more information at trex.com. Great company to deal with, wonderful products. And uh, again, with the Deck Network, if you have any questions or comments, you can forward them to me directly at mike at thedecknetwork.com. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, any of those other sources. If you'd like to be on the show, just let us know. I have about 20 videos that I'm working on now. A lot of people around the country are going to be right back here on Skype. So stay tuned. Have a great day. Bye now. Thank you.